Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this amazing three-in-one Sudoku puzzle by Bondi. I'll be solving the hardest version by mainly using Sudoku naked pairs. Before we get to solving, I want to recognize some special people in the Smart Hobbies community. First, a big shout out to my newest Smarty Party members, Logan Wall and Jovial. Second, I want to give a special shout out to Rock Rat Zero for giving me the first correct solution to May's Reward Puzzle Pack by Skidix. Great job. My next reward pack for members only is coming out June 1st. It has a summertime theme and it features puzzles by Logan Wall. The titles for each puzzle give some solving hints. So join the Smarty Party now by clicking on the membership link in the description or pinned comment below to get this pack. Also, if you want to solve this puzzle, click on the link below to give it a go. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, the rules are such that you need to put in either a four, six, or eight to make this a valid puzzle. The lower the number, the easier it is. The higher the number, the harder it is. So I'm going to start with an eight. All right, after putting the eight right there, you can solve this for an eight and block six. The only place left for that. And then you can see here with this eight cutting across and this eight coming down, you have a pointing pair of eight. So a pointing pair means that the eight are only two spots here in block nine. So they can't be anywhere else along block nine. They can't be in those two spots. And because of this eight, eight can't be here. And because of this eight, eight can't be here. So we can actually solve this cell now for an eight. Awesome. And now we can focus on the threes. You got two threes here in rows one and three, and two threes here in column seven and nine. Whenever you have four, but can't looking into a block, you know you can solve it because there's only going to be one available space. So you can solve that for a three. And then what we have over here with the threes coming down column seven. And this three cutting across, we have a pointing pair of threes right here. I am going to get to the spot where we start using some of these naked pairs. But right now, the pointing pair is going to help us out. Because now we can have only two places for a three over here in block four. All right, after doing that three, now we're going to find our first naked pair that's going to help us out. We actually want to look here in column eight. Okay, look here in column eight. You have a two, three, four, five. It doesn't seem like there's a lot there. What we're looking at is what we need is a one, six, seven, eight, nine. If you notice right here, you have a seven, nine, and a one looking at this cell. So this could only be a six or an eight. Well, if you come right here, you only have the one, seven, nine looking at this cell. So that can also be a six or an eight. So this is our first naked pair. And I love how Bonnie put this in this puzzle. For this harder version, you're gonna have a lot of these naked pairs. So a naked pair, basically when there's only two possibilities, the same two possibilities in two cells in a house, which is a Sudoku row, column, or block. That's a naked pair. And so we know that these and at six and eight can't be anywhere else along column eight because they got one of them has to be in here and one of the other one has to be in that cell. Awesome. And this kind of naked pair strategy reminds me of another great solving video I did. I'll put a link to that at the end. You do want to check that out if you want to solve naked pairs even better. And while you're at it, subscribe to Smart Hobbies and you will get even better at finding and solving this strategy. Okay, we can actually do a little bit of solving here, right? Because we got these three cells left, it'd be a one, seven, or a nine. Well, I have a seven and nine right here. This means this has to be your one. And we're gonna create another naked pair, seven, nine. I'll get rid of the colors here because we're gonna find a lot more naked pairs, I promise. But it's not the only thing you need. We need a little bit of help from one teeny tiny advanced strategy. So you gotta stay tuned to the end and watch that because that, will be right near the end of the solve. Okay, so we did a seven, nine naked pair there in column eight. And now we'll just follow these ones. You got these two ones here, it means the only place to look for one and block two is right there. So I gotta get out of color mode and we can solve that for a one. And now if you come down here, one can't be there anymore or there, you know, we can solve that for a one. And now with these two fives in rows eight and nine, you can solve this cell for a five. Awesome. And now we can actually solve for a one over here in block six, we can solve for one here in block five, and we have one place left for a one right here in block seven because of these two ones and these two ones, which means we just placed that Snyder three, it means this has to be a three. So remember, if you're not familiar with these two marks, like these little eights, those are that's called Snyder notation. Anytime three by three block, you have two possibilities for can it mark them in case you solve one of the cells, you can solve the other one right away. It okay. Let's get over here and let's look at where a five can be here in block two. All right, that's the only place to left for the five. And with the seven cutting across, that has to be 
a 7. Okay, can we do any other solving with that? No. Nope. So then now you want to come over here to column 2 and find our next naked pair. We're missing a 2, 4, 7, 9. Well, you notice there's a 7, 9 right here in row 3. So that's 2 to 4. And then there's a 7, 9 here in row 7. So that's a 2 to 4. So that's another naked pair. And so we know since the 2 to 4 have to be in those two spots, this has to be another naked pair of a 7, 9. Awesome. All right, we'll get rid of the colors there. Get back to solving mode. And that's going to help us out here in just a little bit. So we can go here and say, all right, you got this, this three and this three means this has to be a three. And this creates a naked triple of a two, six, seven. And what we know about a naked triple, and it's all in the same block, that that's a locked, those are locked candidates, which means that it's only three places they can be here in block eight and in row nine. So we know we can solve this cell as remaining. So that has to be a four now awesome okay so we're able to solve that four four and what we want to look at now you probably may have noticed like right here we have a seven nine naked pair again that's going to come in handy here in just a little bit but i want to move my focus up here into block two just like we did a naked triple lock candidates here you also have lock candidates naked triple up here you need a four eight and nine well you see the four and a nine right there so that has to be your eight and this is a four nine another naked pair and so this is a four nine naked pair that can't be a four and uh, it can't be a four because of this four anyway so you what you have up here is a two and a six we can't solve that it's another naked pair of two six i'm going to say naked pair quite a bit because there's so many in this puzzle and it's themed very nicely where one leads to the next Okay, after doing the 2-6, you actually want to look down here in column 5. This is something very interesting here. It's going to help us out. What you have is you got a 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. So we're missing 2, 4, 6, 9. When you look right here, 2 and a 6 are already right there. This is a 4, 9. And so now, guess what? This is an important naked pair. All right, we want to see this and actually pivot now over here. What you need, you got a 1, 2, 3, 6, 8. It looks like you need a 4, 5, 7, 9. Well, I got my 5, 7 right there. This is another 4, 9. So you see it's an action, another naked pair. And so these two are limited to 5 or a 7. And by doing this, you're limiting what the available candidates that can be in those cells. So we do want to mark those. It's going to come uh, and become pretty important here in just a second. Uh, the one thing you'll notice with the 6, the 6 is a pointing pair right here. And so with these two sixes and this six, knowing this can't be a six, you have a six right there. So we can now do this solve. All right, so let's get the six here, get this two in, and that's going to help us out a little bit with our solving. And what else do we notice here? What you have is, looks like a six, seven. Guess what? Another naked pair. We'll mark that. And then you want to see what do we have over here in this block all right one five six seven eight so two three four nine got the two three so guess what that's another naked pair because you got the four nine here and the four nine here that makes this a two three so we do want to mark that two three and this is cool because we're getting close to setting up for that advanced strategy that i was talking to you about it's important to note is that this cell cannot be a nine anymore and so if you look across row four it's the last little trimming we're going to do before we get to that advanced strategy. You notice that where can a 5 and a 9 be across this row? Well, it can't be here, 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 because they're already canceled and they're not 5 or 9. It can't be here because this has a 5 or 9. So the 5 or 9 are limited to these two cells. So this is actually a hidden pair of 5 or 9. And you'll need to find this to help with the last advanced strategy. Because now what do we uh, have right here? It looks like it's going to be a 3, 6, or 7. And like, okay, Timberlake. Yeah, what does that mean for us? And you look right here, what can this be? It could be uh, also 3, 6, or 7. All right. And what was key to note it is that you have the 7, 9 naked pair here, right? So if the second 9 naked pair is there, this cannot be a 7. And this sets up our advanced strategy. All right. Maybe you see it. It involves these three cells right here this is an x y wing here's your pivot 
and it has a two and a six. And then you have the other two possibilities of a two, three, six combination, a three, six here and a two, three there. So this is your pivot and these are your pinchers. And what it means is if this was a two, that'd be a three. If this is a six, that'd be a three. So any cell that sees these two blue cells, you can eliminate a three. And this is awesome stuff. You need this one advanced strategy to make a little bit more progress in the puzzle because we're going to be able to eliminate a three from right there. We're going to be able to eliminate a three from right there. If you're just not familiar how X, Y wings work, I did release a tutorial on it. I'll put a link to it here. You want to check that out. It'll help you solve puzzles like this even better. Okay, so let's remove our colors and we're going to get some more solving done here because once you eliminate that three there, you know, that's going to be your two. That's going to be three. Awesome. Then we know we can solve this for three because of the Snyder notation mark. And we're going to get some more great solving here. Because now this can no longer be a two. What can, where can a two be here in column six? It has to be right there. So now that's a two. That's a six. That's a seven. This is a six. And here's your seven. Here's your six right there. Now we're going to figure out this eight, six. Make it pair there. Get rid of that Snyder mark. Awesome. And then. Let's move on and get some more solving here, right? We just made a bunch of marks. So this six displaces that Snyder. So we know this now can be a six as well. And with this four, it means the only place left for a four and block seven is right there, which means this is gonna be a two, making this have to be a two. Then you have a seven, nine here, but I got that my seven right there. So here's your seven and there's your nine. And we wanna kind of solve these things in clumps if we can, especially just try to nail out all those naked pairs. So seven, nine, seven, nine, awesome. All right, now we got the six here, so we know this has to be the two right there with this nine. Now we can do the five, nine, do that nice little clump, and now we know we can do this four, nine, and this four right there. Great. Okay, five, seven. I got a seven here, so here's your seven, and there's your five. We're going to make sure we can finish off block six because that has to be a six now. And with this seven, we know we got a five here, and we're going to have a nine and the four on column one right there which means this has to be a two awesome okay we got one full house here always try to get to those if i can i don't see a four in block four so that's got to be the four i don't see a four in block three either so that's got to be your four and that's got to be your eight i come over here i don't see an eight there so we can solve that and our last digit is a seven you need to watch this other video if you want to solve naked pairs even better Thank you so much, Bonnie, for letting me feature this puzzle on my channel. And thank you so much for watching.